Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations. And we're going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, square root of 30 minus x equals just x. Well, I want to square both sides to get uh, rid of that square root. So, I'm going to square both sides here. I'm going to solve this, so I have 30 minus x equals x squared. And I'm going to bring everything over to one side. So I have 0, then equal to x squared plus an x minus 30. And if this is too fast, take your time. And uh, there's other videos that you know, can help you um, bring that over. But I'm kind of jumping through some steps here. Now I need to factor that. So I'm going to factor this. And I really need to think, well, what two numbers multiply to be uh, negative 30 but add to be 1? And that's going to be a negative 5 and a positive 6. Negative 5 times 6 is 30, and they add together. Negative 5 plus 6 is a positive 1. Because remember, there's that 1 in front of the x there. So that leaves me with two answers. x equals positive 5 and a negative 6. Right? Uh, if we set both parts of these, uh, we factor it out, both parts equal to 0, and solve, we get x equals 5 and x equals negative 6. So from there, I need to check for my extraneous solutions. Let's check it. So we need to plug it back into our original equation. So it's the first one, x equals 5. So I take my equation, 30 minus x equals x, and then the square root there. And I'll plug 5 in. So 30 minus 5 equals 5. 30 minus 5 is 25. Fantastic. And the square root of 25 is, in fact, 5. So we're good. Left and right are equal. We know x equals 5 is a true answer. Let's go check negative 6. So I have x equals negative 6 here. Let's go rewrite my equation. 30 minus x equals x. Plug negative 6 in for x. So we have 30 minus a negative 6 equals a negative 6 on the right. Minus a negative plus a positive. So we square root of 36 equals negative 6. Square root of 36 is positive 6. And unfortunately, 6 it does not equal a negative 6. And so this is my extraneous solution. Negative 6 is my extraneous solution, meaning that when I solved here, I got an answer, but when I checked, it didn't come back full circle. So it's extraneous. So my only true solution is x equals 5. So let's recap. We start with the square root, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, square root of 30 minus x equals x. I squared both sides to eliminate the square root, and then I brought everything over to one side. All right, so I had a quadratic, x squared plus x minus 30. From there, I factor, getting x minus 5 and x plus 6. Knowing that, when it's set equal to 0, my two solutions are x equals 5 and x equals negative 6. So I need to check both of these. So I check them here by plugging them both back into the original equation. This side here, I got 30 minus 5 is 25 squared, 25 is 5, and left and right are equal, right? 5 equals 5. Fantastic. True solution, right? Other one, x equals negative 6. Well, when I plug that in, I've got the square root of 36, right? Uh, when I simplify it, and then I square root of 36, I have a positive 6. But on the right-hand side, I had a negative 6. So 6 equals negative 6? Not true. That does not happen. Not a true uh, answer. So that is what we call an extraneous solution. You know, an extraneous solution here. And so since that's extraneous, it's not a real solution. So therefore, you know, we can cross it off there, and our only true solution here is x equals 